One of the first things I'm going to do for block prep is I'm going to chase these uh, head bolts, uh, the threads of the head bolts, all 10 of them on each side. Next I'm going to spray some brake cleaner down inside. Now with some compressed air, I'm going to run it down inside there. Careful of this stuff. Could have metal shavings and stuff in there, or a lot of dirt, so stay out to the side. Not a bad idea. Maybe have some iPro on. Now I'm going to go around and blow every, every orifice, every hole out on this engine block to try and clean anything out. So just go through and clean, blow everything out. Now with a uh, Kimtech, it's like K-I-M-T-E-C-H Kimtech. These are aviation towels. They're like super low lint. Uh, get them off Amazon. I like using these, but the Scotts brand one, the blue towels are, are pretty good as well. So I'm just gonna put some ATF on here and go through and clean out the cylinders. When you're done with the cylinders, you can give the top a light wipe down. And I'll do the same for the other side. And now I can rotate it over. So when it comes back from the machine shop, it's usually going to be in this condition. It's got the front and the rear uh, main cap on there because that's what they use to hold it in the machine uh, when they um, bore it and hone it. And I can take the main caps out. Next, we're going to put our ARP main studs in there. These are actually three valve uh, main studs, part number one five six five nine zero one. They make uh, they they make four valve one. These are similar to the four valve ones. Uh, they make them for four valve with a half windage tray, and they make them uh, four valve with no windage tray. Um, I actually have a three valve windage tray I'm going to put on here uh, that's been discontinued. Um, a lot of people are using the GT500 windage tray, which is part of the oil pan gasket. It's it, it's the oil pan gasket as well. It needs a little bit of clearancing to, to fit on these things, but uh, you wouldn't need the three valve or the, the windage tray one. You get the four valve main bearing or main, main studs without a uh, windage tray. They're a little bit cheaper. Here are the ARP studs. The easy way to tell which end gets screwed in is the tops have a, an Allen key on there, and that is not meant to, it's just meant to aid and put them in. You put these in basically hand tight and dry. So we'll wipe these down and put them in. Uh, the, if you're doing the three valve one, the studs uh, will go towards the front and the back two, which is gonna be these ones, which are the bigger ones, will go on, on the back. Now the main studs are in. The ones that don't have the longer studs are in the back here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and wipe, wipe down right here, just clean that out really well uh, so we can get to work on our bearings and get those inserted. But you want this area really clean and you wanna look at it too, like if you got a used block, if you see any evidence of anything spinning, you can actually see, I don't know if it's gonna show up in the video or not, but there's like a cross hatch uh, much like a cylinder from when they align hone it. So if you don't have that cross hatching, you got like, it's been spun, you need to measure it and then probably need to get your whole block uh, remachined. Here's the bearings we're gonna be using. These are King Racing uh, HP series bearings, uh, part number MB5283HP. These are for uh, the aluminum dual overhead cam engines. So your Texids and your Watt blocks and your NEMAC block. Once you got them all unwrapped, you just can wipe them down real good. The trays from uh, King, they come numbered, so uh, these are all numbered one, two, three, four, five, 
and on the tray there's also one two three four five i try to keep these in order and then i'll use number one with number one so this will be the upper uh, it's got the hole in it for the oil to flow through there and that's going to be the lower that goes in the main main caps now that we got them all cleaned up you can take a look at them and see there's a little tang on here on one end uh, and that has got a uh, uh, indent uh, corresponding to it in the block so I'm going to go ahead and put number one in number one so the way I like to put these in is I put the tang side in first and I line it up with the edge just kind of set it in there lightly and then make sure the top edge is flush and then I'm going to squeeze this part in and push that down until it's flush now while I do it I try to make sure that each side uh, stays level so that one side's not higher up than other than the other side they're going to protrude a little bit uh, over the top on both sides because that's part of the way the the uh, bearing crushes uh, when it gets tightened down now, another thing I, I kind of keep an eye on is the the lip on the sides here the bearing uh, isn't quite as big as the uh, surface of the block so I try to make sure there's the same amount of area on either side of the bearing so I'll just do that with the rest of them. Now with the main caps, uh, the main caps are m marked from the factory. So there's a little one on the side here and then the arrow that points forward. Uh, so these should be cleaned up pretty well. Uh, I put a light coat of ATF on these. Um, again, you're going to make sure the cross hatching is in there. These are matched to the block, so that they're not interchangeable. If you can't see the marking on yours, it's probably dirty. I've seen some of these where you can't even see the markings on there because they're so dirty. I put these bearings in the same way. You can see the tang, the tang on there, and then the indent in the main cap. I uh, set that in, and then I squeeze this side in, and make sure it's level. And so number five main cap is going to have this uh, other shaped bearing on it. This is going to be your thrust bearing. So this is going to be your thrust surfaces on this side. Uh, so same thing. Sometimes these can be hard to get in there. If that's the case, I just tap them down. And it's good. And don't lose this piece. This is the thrust washer that goes in the, the top part of the block. We'll put that in when we put uh, our main caps on.